I grew up drinking iced tea. We had it in our house always growing up for generations. And people made good and bad iced tea. And I'm going to teach you how to do it the old way from tea bags or loose tea. Here in Florida, we grew up drinking iced tea, and it's just a necessary thing in the South. Um, I'm going to pour myself a glass and enjoy it, and show you how to make some, and hope you enjoy it too. Mm, delicious cold iced tea. Okay, ready? Go for it. Okay. Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm Lee. And uh, this is Caroline and Lee's Florida Country Home Diaries. The first thing you need is a pot to boil hot water in. Something with a lid. I have a teapot but you can use a regular pot if you don't have one. Important things to remember are the type of tea you purchase and how long you cook it for. Does make a difference and there's a lot of debate. I purchase red rose tea because I black picot tea in the tea bags because I think it tastes better and I use less tea bags. If you buy another brand, you have to use more tea bags. I use five tea bags per gallon. Now you're going to cook this, let it whistle in a teapot, which means bring it to a boil, and then turn it off and let it sit until it cools. Then you're going to take this concentrate and mix it with water, and it makes one gallon get a gallon pitcher. And then you're going to sweeten it with whatever sweetener you like. I use artificial sweetener Splenda. I used to use sugar for years, but sweeten the taste. And this makes the perfect, perfect iced tea. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helps you. And if you did use loo use loose. If you use loose tea, you gotta strain it. And that's a whole nother video. I hope you enjoy this tea. Thank you.